Hi, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Thank you to my returning subscribers and thank you to anybody that's newly joined as well. Um, thank you for all your comments, your likes. And if you did want to find me on other platforms, my details are down in the description box. I've got TikTok, uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. So you can find my details there if you'd like to join me on those. So, we're going to get into a reading today. We've got two piles to pick from. And these piles are going to represent what is coming up for you throughout the rest of September. Now, I've got two different ones. These are Harry Potter ones. <laughs> so you've got pile number one is the brown ones. I don't know what it's supposed to be. And pile number two is this one. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, you might know what these ones are. If you do, you can put that down in the comments for me because I have no idea. Um, so let's get into your reading then and see what is coming up for you throughout the rest of September. You will, can find your timestamps down in the description box. So if you pick pile number two, then just have a look down there if you want to just skip straight to it. Okay, so let's see what we have for you then at pile number one. So you are the brown wand. I don't even know which way around. Is it swish and flick? <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, let's see. We're going to shuffle these cards, first of all, to see what area of your life we're talking about for the rest of this month. Ooh, we have the area of love coming up. So let's see what it is about love that is coming up for you. Now, you may be single, you may be in a relationship, you may be in some kind of connection that you're hopeful for. So let's see where that energy is today. Ooh, something's flowing. Now, this actually could represent um, some kind of cleansing here. So you, you may have been tearful, emotional, or it's emotionally balanced. We'll get more into it though to see. Ah, Ewas is about relationships. That's interesting. So for some of you, this could actually be where a particular connection or relationship or love situation is actually helping you to trust yourself more in relationships. And we have awareness. So yes, definitely the energy of this is about becoming more emotionally aware of yourself in relationships. Um, so that's a very interesting energy to look at on here. So you want to create flow. You want to create flow and balance um, and you want something. It's like you feel something very powerful in your energy and with somebody else. And you're becoming very aware. It's almost like something within a connection is helping you to observe yourself more and understand what you bring and making healthy changes or bringing, bringing forward healthy aspects in a relationship, you know, so like balanced, giving and receiving. Okay, I'm actually gonna get into the tea cards before I get the tarot out. So let's see what the tea cards are talking about with this particular situation then on here. Ooh, okay, so for some of you, this could be a relationship with somebody with fair hair, and it says a sincere wish will be granted. So if this is what your wish is, is for somebody with fair hair, then it feels like your wish is going to be granted. So this could be to do with a new relationship with somebody um, that you have feelings for, that has blonde hair, um, that is female as well. So that's obviously not going to be for everybody in this collective, but it may be for you if that is what you are looking for at this time. So that's what's coming up throughout the rest of September. So if this is a person that you already know, then you can expect that the desire for this person, the wish for this person is going to be granted. What you're looking for in that. Mm. But it's asking you to pay attention to your work. So try not to allow um, your love connection or something to get in the way of you actually going to work, doing your work. You know, make sure that you are showing up for your responsibilities as well. Sometimes when we're in that kind of honeymoon period of things going well, things being all sweet um, and new, you can, can forget like that you need to do some work. Now we've got a financial pinch as well. So that's affecting, there is something about this connection that is actually affecting you um, in work and money. Um, perhaps you're having way too much fun. You're going out a lot. Um, but for some of you, there's something about not actually going to work. Uh, or staying away from work for some reason. Um, hmm, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Okay, so 
there's something I'm actually feeling from this that there could be this connection. If you're feeling it as like uh, an energy of excitement, it actually might be telling you something that this isn't good. Or if you're dropping your normal routine, if you're not doing what you normally should be doing to be with this person, to have these experiences, this might actually not be the healthiest um, connection for you, if that makes sense. Now, this is what I'm picking up on here, and this, this has taken a bit of a turn, to be fair, because it feels like something you've wanted will be granted, but there has to be um, a realisation about trusting yourself and emotional fulfilment. And it feels like you're looking for this kind of connection where you're feeling emotionally fulfilled and you feel like you can trust yourself. But something about your work and your money is being affected by being around this particular person Unfortunately, I feel it might be this person here, um, which is kind of suggesting that, you know, there's something that you're needing more. And this, this particular situation, the rest of September is kind of teaching you about what your needs and wants are. This is where the awareness is coming from. The awareness of yourself, of trusting yourself in relationships and bringing flow into relationships as well. Now, flow is a funny thing because, you know, we can flow into anything, good or bad. You know what I mean? Flow doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you. <laughs> if you're in alignment with something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good alignment. It's just alignment. So there's something about this. If you're already in this connection, if you're already in this place, um, then this message is coming through because you've already been having doubts about how it's affecting you in your life. And you may be feeling like it's love when actually this is starting to feel a little bit like this connection could be it's something that you desire, something that you've wanted, but it's actually affecting a lot of other areas of your life in not such a positive way. But the teaching of it, the lesson of it, is what you are going to be taking away from it. Because I feel like this person is kind of in and out a little bit. Um, we've got a dark man, dealing to a relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. So somebody here could be, I need a little bit more information on that dark man because I feel like this is, it feels a little bit third party kind of energy. Okay, let's get back to the basics. Hmm. Something's telling you here, there's a lot of feathers here as well. So feathers could be significant if somebody's giving you a feather. Um, it's kind of like you're being guided you're being given messages about focusing on your work right now focusing on your career focusing on your money <coughs> excuse me um there's a need here to get back to the basics so it's almost like there's a desire that's been fulfilled by being around this person by being in this connection but it isn't love but you want love and it feels like there is somebody else within this um, area as well. So I feel like I've got two different collectives here. So for some of you, if your person is female, then it's this one. For some of you, if your person is male, then it's this one. Okay. And it's kind of telling you, yes, these people, they feel great to be around. They're fun. You're enjoying yourself, but you're feeling the pinch financially and your work is slipping. So it feels like... You're spending a lot of time doing what this person wants to do, maybe spending money, time on this person. And it feels like you, you need to get back to, back to what is more simple, okay? What is more simple and what is suiting you in your life right now. Remember, this is what's happening for you in, throughout the rest of September. Did you just hear that bang then? Everywhere I put my coffee cup, seriously, the cards just want to leap into it. Okay, box, you will receive a gift. So there is something coming in that is far greater than what's going on here. Far more, um, it feels balanced. Now, there's a gift that you're about to receive. Now, I'm feeling like this is a bottle of wine or something like that. It feels like it's alcoholic. It's some kind of alcohol that you're about to receive. 
Oh, romance is in the air. We've got rose on the bottom as well. Yeah, you are going to receive love. You're going to receive something that is unexpected, I feel. But it's through you recognising and realising how this current affair or whatever it is, is affecting you in many ways at this time. And it's kind of like asking you to be aware of yourself in this connection. Trusting yourself to discern what is right for you and what isn't. Okay, weeping willow, family sorrow. So somebody around you or yourself at this time is going through some kind of family sorrow. Now, this, how does this affect you? How is that actually affecting you right now? Okay. So this sorrow that's going on here, we've got tower and family, um, solid foundation and success with effort. So this might be the opportunity for you to kind of just separate yourself a little bit from what's going on over here. That is really lust, it's not love, okay? Now, you're looking for more of a solid foundation and being around family at this time, um, dealing with what's going on there, is actually going to help you to feel more of that solidarity, more of that foundation, and it's going to show you actually how you were feeling, how you were feeling a little bit anxious and on edge during this time. Okay, you are moving into a new career, a new job. Something is changing for you in your work, and um, so I do sense this feeling of like there is. There's changes going on there. So perhaps this was a blessing and a curse in a way. It's almost like um, that financial pinch and the hard work that you've had to deal with. You know, like needing to pay attention to your work. You are going to be offered a new job. There's a new job coming in for you, which is going to be way better. And it almost bursts all of the illusion that's around you because it will show you, actually, because I went back to basics and I focused on my work and I took myself away from this situation, this is what's happening now, okay? Because it feels very muddled in this area, but we know that the reading is about finding love, isn't it? But first, it's about you bringing that foundation, that solidarity to yourself, to what you need to be doing. Mountain road, you're on the road to success, okay? So let's see then in the tarot cards, what else is going to come in for you? So we know, don't we, that there's this connection going on that you know about that already. You're already in that. But if you're spending far too much time focusing on that, spending lots of time and money on that and energy on that, and everything else is kind of not being done or not getting done, it's affecting you um, in your way forward. So what do you, what is coming for you at the end or during the rest of September to do with love? Because I feel like you need some kind of um, clarity on that or some kind of hope on that. And we've got the justice card coming out. So this is about you kind of like understanding some kind of truth, which is going to bring balance. Um, now, there's a need here for integrity. You know, you know deep down what is right and what isn't right. And you know how to deal with the truth. You know how to deal with people who aren't giving you the truth, okay? I do feel you may be very confused at the moment and this kind of connection is a bit of a distraction from things perhaps that you don't want to look at because this is easy to do, this is easy to step into, whereas other things aren't so easy. And um, we have the Page of Swords, so there's a need for communication here. Um, you've gained some truth, some knowledge, and because of that, you have clarity now and the ability to make an intelligent decision. And you may need to communicate that at this time. Okay, so let's see. What advice do we have for the rest of this month for you? Yeah. Be aware of judgment and, you know, be aware of, this is why we have manas here, because manas is all about that awareness of yourself, you know. We reap what we sow, the things that we do, 
um, you know, karma is a funny thing. It's not a negative thing. It's a balance thing. It's about creating balance. And there's a need right now for balance in your relationships. And there are some relationships here that you are struggling to trust yourself within. And then you're looking for something that you can trust yourself in and that you can trust the other person in. But we have to look at ourselves first. So this is the energy here of um, like trusting yourself. And it's kind of like a self-realization. You've had some kind of awakening here, some realization of how things should be as opposed to what I want right now for a quick fix. This is more you looking at sort of like, actually, I'm starting to realize how the things that I do now, the actions that I take now are affecting my present and my future. Okay. There's been um, some kind of ending or breakup that's gone on here. For some of you, I feel like there has been a breakup in a relationship and this that you're in now is kind of like um, a rebound. It's like a, you know, someone that you've just been going out with for a bit and it feels a bit exciting, stuff like that. But it doesn't feel like it's really um, the healthiest option for you. That's what I'm going to say on that one. Okay, so what is the future of this for the rest of September? Like, what can you expect to see? by the end of the month. King of Wands. Mm, okay, very saucy. <laughs> this is the energy of um, a lot of, there's a lot of sexuality with this. There's a lot of um, sexual energy. So I do sense that there is something that you are going to be doing or getting with somebody what is this? Tell me more about it. Okay, yeah, so it's it's a new it's a new beginning. There's something new coming in that's kind of solid. It's so it feels like it's a new venture that gives you like the whole package. It feels like it contains everything that you've wanted and you've manifested this, you've brought this into your life through your actions, through everything that you're doing. So that's that's the future of things, is there's a real sort of passionate energy to it, um, a charismatic energy. It's like I can see two people that actually carry a lot of charisma um, and a matching energy, it feels. And that matched energy is bringing a lot of fortunate energy in. Um, but this feels balanced, you know, it doesn't feel like you, you drop in everything to be around this person like you have been. This is more about sort of like, I feel secure and safe in you doing your thing, you feel secure and safe in me doing my thing, and we are working together, we are doing things together. It's going to be very good. This is like triumph, achievement, um, looking shiny, looking good. Okay. Let's get you an, a final outcome then at this point. <laughs> the sun, can't get better than that. So there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of joy fulfillment um, that's coming through. There's a real masculine energy to this. So I don't know whether you're masculine yourself. If you are, then you're gonna be feeling really sort of in your healthiest masculinity that you can be. Whatever this is, it's bringing out your positive masculine attributes. Now, if you're feminine here, this could potentially be, and if you're looking for masculine, by the way, this could be bringing in um, that that healthy masculine energy that you need. Um, that is, it's joyful. It feels joyful. It feels refreshing. It feels balanced and solid, like solid gold. <laughs> Okay, so part number one, that was your reading. If that resonates with you and you want to go into this deeper, then please do get in touch for a personalised reading. My details are down in the description box. And I will meet you at part number two if you are watching part number two as well. So, blessed be. Okay, so, part number two. Let's get into your reading, shall we? So if you're part number two, this would have been your wand. Don't ask me what it is. It's got a weird little bony hook thing on it. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we're going to get into your reading now and we shall see 
what energy we're working with with you. Feel free to watch both of the videos if you want to, um, if that feels like it resonates with you. Okay, part number two, we're looking at wealth. Now, wealth can be in any kind of area of your life. Okay, we have wealth and marriage. So I picked two because wealth can be, you know, you, it could be sort of like about financial stuff or career, or it could be more about love. Now, marriage, again, could be either because marriage is basically a contract, isn't it? So this for you is what's coming up for you at the towards um, the rest of September is all about some kind of contract, some kind of agreement that's going on that is very fortunate for you or just feels like it fills you up, you know? It makes you feel good, it makes you feel happy. Let's see. So let's get into your rooms right now and see what energy we have coming from that. Wow, Gebo. So for some of you, this actually could be to do with um, some kind of commitment in terms of actual marriage. And yeah, Kana, so awareness, attention, paying attention to something. Um, maybe you've been in a relationship or something for a little while and this is like the next step. It feels like that kind of energy. Yeah, and it's a long-term thing. There's been some kind of, this is a long-term commitment and you may, over the past year especially, have been kind of going going over this, thinking about this, um, working towards this. So you're kind of reaping the rewards now of your efforts over the past year. So there's been a lot of growth in that past year as well. There's been a lot of growth that has brought you a real balance to your energy. Um, and you're very you're paying a lot of attention to your needs, to what it is that you really want here. So let's get into the tea card, shall we, and see where we're at. So let's have a look. What do we have for you in your cards today? Oops, we have, oh, parrot, someone would gossip about all your secrets. So there's something going on in the background that you don't know about. Now, this doesn't necessarily need to be negative. This could be a positive. This could be people discussing some form of engagement and um, they could be discussing somebody maybe thinking about asking you out or thinking about what they want to do to be with you. <laughs> Celebration, fun and enjoyment. I'm not kidding you, part number two. This feels to me like there's some kind of marriage offer or commitment offer going to be happening very soon in your energy. And people are talking about it. Someone's talking about it. So I hate to be the breaker of bad news. If you don't want to know any more, then switch off right now. But if this is for you and when this happens, I want you to drop down in the comments, please, how it happens. Okay, Kane, pay attention to your health. Now, maybe you haven't been feeling very well recently um, or there's something going on with you. Um, just make sure that you are doing everything you can, eating the right foods, you know, um, keeping your fluids up, that kind of thing. Um, taking your vitamins so and exercising as well so there's an energy here of maybe if there's something that's been niggling at you get it sorted get it looked at now um, for some of you this isn't necessarily about physical health it could be about your mental health as well so uh, what I want to say on this is about um, talking to somebody open up about what's going on with you and how you're feeling okay because I'm getting an energy of somebody may have been feeling a little bit anxious recently. Okay, misunderstanding and you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. So, yeah, maybe you're not feeling great at the moment because there's been some kind of misunderstanding. And because of that, it feels like a wall's been put up between you and somebody very important in your life. But even so, you are on the right track. You're on the right path. So don't let yourself get stressed out about misunderstanding that's happened, Okay. It will get resolved. Things will be okay. It will it will work itself out. There may have been some accusations. There may have been some pointing fingers, that kind of thing. But it will get resolved. It will get resolved. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. So this could be to do with that misunderstanding, okay? So 
somebody may be trying to blame you for something here, whereas actually you're realising, mm, I, I know me, I do me, you do you. So just be aware of this person. It's interesting, there's a lot that comes up with insincere people and feathers come out as that. So if you have been seeing feathers around, or if you're seeing a lot of feathers, that is your signal. So whoever you were thinking about at the time that you saw these loads of feathers, or maybe you see this person with feathers, um, then just that's your kind of signal that that person maybe doesn't have your best interests at heart. Maybe that's why there was a misunderstanding in the first place, okay? So this is all stuff that's happening for you towards the end of this month or for the rest of this month. But this wish is going to be granted and I feel like that is to do with this commitment, um, this marriage, this, this energy of, um, yeah, commitment that's going to happen here. It's beautiful. It feels there is a real celebration coming into your life very soon. And you're going to know about it before the month is up. Target a goal orientated person. So you you like goals. You have a goal and you like to achieve that goal. And this is a big goal. This wish that's going to be granted. This is a big one. And it's going to be this month that it's granted, which you're not going to believe it. I don't feel I think you're going to sort of be like, whoa, how the how did that happen? How did that come about? Yeah. But there, may, there is some changes that you do need to make and you know what these changes are. And I feel like for some of you, it is to do with your health. It's to, when I say health, what I mean is, is like there may be some habits or changes that need to be made that perhaps you're overindulging in something at this time. Um, and that could just be not helping you to feel good about yourself right now. So use your intuition on the things that you know you need to change or could possibly change to to help you to feel the best that you possi possibly could be. Now I'm going to pick a month card for this marriage. When is this actually going to take place? Because we know this is going to sort of be announced at the end, before the end of this month. But when is it happening? <gasps> July. So some of you are going to be getting married in July. If that's the collective, not this isn't going to be for everybody, but for some of you, this is when you're going to get married. So if this resonates with you, if this is your message, please write down in the comments, leave me a comment to tell me what date you're getting married, where you're getting married, all that kind of stuff. I'd love to know. Invite me to the wedding. <laughs> I would love it. Okay, so let's get into the tarot cards next and see. Okay, so what is coming for you at the end of this month or towards the end of this month that is to do with your wedding? Wow. We have the chariot. So yeah, this is coming in pretty quick. So it's definitely going to be somebody that you're already in a connection with, that you already know of. Now when I say marriage, it might not be, you know, that they're going to drop down on one knee straight away and ask you to marry them um, in the way that fits for you. But this could be about somebody saying that they want to commit to you. They want to, um, they want a union here. And I do feel for many of you, this is a love commitment, not so much um, to do with work. It's more to do with your relationship. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have for you? That's coming up towards the end of this month to do with your marriage. Ah, oh, very romantic. Yeah. So it's going to happen very, very romantically. So this could be that you go for, I mean, you're not really going to go for, maybe don't go for a picnic. It's gone rather cold now. Um, but this could be going for a meal. You're going to be invited out. You're going to be going somewhere and doing something. Now, horses may be significant or being outdoors somewhere like near a farm or something like that could be significant. And I feel for some of you, you're going to be taken to a place where this person wants to get married to you. Um, so just be aware of that. If you be, you've be you been asked to go to some place and you're like, oh, I like that place. This is why this person has a message for you. And it's coming in pretty quick. Now, I feel like there's, you know, you're already perhaps focusing on celebrating something here. You already know that this is worth celebrating. And there's a lot of celebrations going on in your life at this time. Anyway, we do have that celebration fun, enjoyment, you know, this, this is what September is going to be for you, is a lot of that energy going on. So what else do we have for you on here? Hmm. 
Yeah, so two of wands. So for some of you, this might not be an easy decision. You may have had to think about this. You may have had to sort of like think, is this what I really want? But you've already decided, You deep down you've already decided what you want your future to be and how you want things to be. And like we said, you know, people are gossiping about things. I feel like maybe your intuition is telling you that. You already realise that. You already know that. Remember, like, using your intuition. So... But you know that there are some changes that you need to make in order for this to be the best it can be for you. So the next couple of months, you are going to be spending time working on yourself. Um, you've made a lot of realisations about yourself and you're sticking to your guns. You're sticking to a particular decision that you know aligns you with wealth in your future. When I say wealth, I mean it, it aligns you with... Um, that joy fulfillment, that happiness. Um, and there is such a fast energy with this. We've got the chariot and we've got the knight of swords. So there's quick communication, quick action. Um, but it's good. It feels fun. It feels happy. Um, it feels very much needed in your life right now. It's like some excitement. Something very exciting happening. Yeah, your intuition is really guiding you on this. And I feel like you already know it, but you needed confirming on it. You're like, mm, I'm feeling this, but I don't know if it's actually going to happen or not. And now you know. Now you know it is happening. And you may have been dreaming about this. You may have had your intuitive downloads about this. You might even be seeing films about it or hearing adverts and things about it. Um, because it's in your energy right now and this excited feeling that you're getting it's not for no reason okay it's there for a reason I can't believe we've got the nine of cups on the bottom there as well this is desire fulfillment so there's also the energy this card normally comes out as this woman looking like she's absolutely smashed drunk um, like at a bar or something like that that's happening to you a lot lately and I feel like that's what the message was about looking after your health that cane thing you may be doing a lot of drinking, a lot of celebrating at this time. So just be aware of, um, you know, make sure that you feel OK with that. Make sure that you aren't going over your limit kind of thing. Um, be good to yourself. Be good to yourself because you've got so much to celebrate right now. You may be tempted to sort of like keep that celebration up and keep drinking and things. But it's yeah, just just keep a keep a bit of a lid on it, stability on it. Um, but your desires have been fulfilled. I can see you sort of stood there, maybe at a bar or somewhere at somebody's house or something where you're surrounded by all your friends, all the people that you love. You're enjoying yourself. You're having a drink. And there's a moment where you're just like, yes, this is exactly what I wanted. This is how I want my life to be. This is how I want things to be. Okay. So, do we have any advice for you? What advice could we possibly give you that is so strange we had exactly the same for exactly the same question in part number one so I feel like some of you are watching both <laughs> to see if there's any difference maybe I don't know but the energy will be the same so the advice here is about there's a lot of sexual energy coming up with this one as well so it's like the excitement and the passion it's driving you into this energy of real fulfillment. You know, things feel really good right now. Really, really good. Don't doubt this at all. Don't allow doubt to slip in or like, oh, is this going to last? Or is this going to be this or blah, blah, blah. Just be in the energy of it. Allow it, okay? Because you do have a tendency of trying to sort of like go, oh, this isn't, I don't know if, if this is what I want. How will I know? you just got to go with the flow. Yeah, that five of cups energy on there. Don't let this sneak in. Don't let the doubts come in. Don't let the, the sort of like, oh, what if I get bored? Or what if I sort of don't decide? I don't feel that's going to happen on here because this is something that is actually helping you. Um, it's like elevating your spiritual awakening as well, your spiritual awareness. So again, this is a marriage card too. So Whatever this collaboration is, whatever this union or commitment is, it's aligning you on lots of levels. Um, that's sexually, spiritually, emotionally, um, possibly mentally as well. Although I don't see as much of that around here, but it does feel like 
it's it's hitting all the spots so what is the future of this what is your outcome let's have a look what is your outcome here the wheel okay the outcome is it's like a complete change you know there's there's a real change that has aligned you with a very wealthy fate a very fortunate fate here and you may be feeling this you have come so far over the past year you've learned so many lessons you've really been paying attention to what your needs and wants are and because of that you've grown you have grown so much and this is what you are this is your outcome here is that growth that growth stability um change you know you are learning karmic lessons and aligning with a greater energy that's bringing more balance into your life okay now you're in a very lucky energy right now so if i were you i'd go and play the lottery or something you're going to start to feel like you're on cloud nine a lot if you're not already feeling that um but by the end of this month this is going to be happening for you so thank you so much for watching this video i'm going to leave this reading here for you if you want to know more about this then please do get in touch my details are down in the description box to book in for a personalized reading um yeah and i look forward to hearing your news so thank you so much and have a blessed day